corruption arose. He's at the helm of the nation's corruption watchdog, but now the questions have turned on him. I think Paul Burton's position as commissioner is in question, as the finding is that he committed officer misconduct as the commissioner. At issue, a perceived conflict of interest. Commissioner Paul Brereton was a close associate of one of the people referred to him by the Robodet Royal Commission, and he didn't fully remove himself from the decision not to initiate an investigation, according to the inspector charged with keeping the knack in check. Commissioner Brereton should ask himself whether him remaining in that position is good for the National Anti-Corruption Commission. The decision drew more than 1,200 complaints, with some considering the NAC had breached the public trust. While the commissioner had declared his relationship and delegated the decision, the inspector still found his involvement in the decision-making was comprehensive. At the meeting where the decision was made, the inspector said the NAC commissioner contributed to the discussion, settled the minutes and was involved in formulating the reasons for the decision. The National Anti-Corruption Commission really has to heed the lessons of this uh, episode. The NAC has labelled this a mistake, a misapprehension by the commissioner. And for this much anticipated body established to clean up politics, it's a bumpy start in its first high-profile case. Still, there's confidence from the major parties. I think the public has total trust uh, in the Commissioner and in the Commission. The system has actually worked in that the Inspector General has said, hey, you need to go back and redo this decision. A decision many will be waiting on. Evelyn Manfield, ABC News, Canberra.